What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So this video kind of bounces around, all right? What I was going to do was I was going to do two videos. Uh, usually that's how I do it. I'll film one long thing and then I'll cut it in half and make two videos out of it. But I think I'll just put it together because I really don't have enough material for both. So I'm just going to, so the first part of the video is just going to be some new things that I bought for the studio, some new tools and some new storage bins and things like that. And the other half of the video is going to be me working on a hard drive. Uh, I did a video, I don't know, a few days ago of a customer that we were working on and I couldn't get the, the computer to, funk, to, you know, to work. So I told the customer that we're just going to nuke the hard drive and put a fresh install of Windows 10 on it. And that's what we did. So without further ado, here we go. Hey guys, good day to y'all. How's everyone? So I've been kind of busy and I just got back from Harbor Freights to help fix some of the issues that I was having and one of the things that we needed was a new drill press vise I had to have one of those all right and then I got a couple of 10 foot extension cords I definitely needed those um, especially for my LED lights and stuff um, and then I got a I believe this is a metric of t-handle Allen wrenches and then I got a SAE T-handle socket wrenches and then this right here I've been looking for these everywhere and I finally found a set so I picked these up all right and then I needed a new staple gun and this one right here came with staples and it was six bucks for this so I went with that and then I got a couple of um, small little clamps like this. They were a dollar a piece, and I needed a few of them. And I think that's, I think that's everything. Yeah, that's that's all the stuff I got. So I'm gonna put this stuff into the workshop. Some of the sound panels, uh, foam panels, are coming undone. So what I have decided to do is super glue them. So that's what we're going to do today. As you can see, they are they're starting to fall. Even the new ones I just put up. So we're going to super glue them. And we're going to work on this computer today. We're going to wipe it and put a fresh install of Windows. So stay tuned for all of that. All right, so this is the aluminum that I'm going to use to build my camera jib crane. Um, it's about 115 bucks for them, but I think I can I think I can build one. And then to organize some of my chaos i bought three of these these are brand new um they can you know they have wheels they can be rolled around or they can be stacked together which is probably what i'll do i'll stack two or three of them together and then to go along with that i got a no trespassing and a keep out sign to help all right so I got my signs up. Hopefully that'll keep people out of there or coming from that direction. I like this staple gun. Harbor Freight, seven bucks, comes with staples. Can't go wrong with that. Run the bolts. And then this is the glue gun that we're going to use for the foam to fix our foam. So I'm gonna go and plug this in, go ahead and get this hot. All right, so back to this hard drive. First thing I need to do is take out the hard drive and then put it hook it up to the 32-bit monster so I can go ahead and wipe it and while we're doing that I'll plug this in and get this going so we can work on fixing our foam tiles Okay, so this is a 500 gigabyte Barracuda 7200 RPM. Alright. That's a... That's a good hard drive. Uh, it's a very standard hard drive, but it's a, it's 
a good well well branded hard drive good deal I would I'd have one of these actually I just sold one uh, about two weeks ago to a friend of mine okay so we got the hard drive hooked up let's go ahead and fire up the machine okay turn the TV on okay okay so while this is getting hot we will work on that hard drive what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna type in storage all right go to storage okay that's it right there this one right here so once you get there you, you want to go over here and you want to type in format and then create and format hard disk all right and then once that window pops up it should look let me see here where's it at it should look, what the hell okay after you type in that this should pop up all right and we don't want c we want e all right and then you once you select e you want to go to actions go to all tasks and then you can go to format that's fine default NTF that's fine format E okay formatting this volume will erase all the data on it do you want to do that yes we do alright so it's gonna get E and before we did this there was or where is it at right there so there's about 30 gigs used on that disk if we successfully format this then there should be no gigs used it should be completely back to where it was it's fully formatted it because it looks like we have so I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna jump out of that window and then I'm gonna go back to storage and then yep there it is so we did we successfully cleaned it so it's done it's reformatted and it's ready to go for the new for the new system all right so we're just going to back that out and disconnect the drive now okay so that part's done the only thing i got to do now is put it back in there put my master key in there put windows 10 on it get all the updates done and we're good i believe my hot glue gun is ready oh yeah it's ready okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get up here and we're going to glue all those back together hopefully well, I finished it, so we will see how long the hot glue gun keeps them up for now. So, looks good. Alright, and I got the hard drive re-secured. Um, I just need to go back into the house and get my Windows master key and get that going, and then we'll be all set. So I got my master key. This is my Windows 10 master key. And what you want to do is you just want to slide it on in there. Wherever it goes. Okay. Turn it on. All right, it's booting. Okay. What you want to do is you're going to want to get into the BIOS of it. How to get into the BIOS? F12 maybe? I don't know. They're all different. F12. Yeah boot options there we go okay so MST Windows USB can the uh, yeah that's what we wanted to boot from Windows let's see here okay so we want Windows 64 okay loading files because you have to initiate it the computer is not going to automatically find it. It's going to immediately look on your hard drive and it's not going to find anything. So you're going to have to go into the BIOS and make it find that drive. And then once it finds it, it should go through this process here. And hopefully this will work. Alright, that looks good so far. Okay, next. Yep, install. Alright, so now it's doing its setup. And once it's finished doing that, uh, we should be good to go. And then what you'll have to do is, 
is once you're done oh need a product key no problem I got one after you enter your product key you hit I accept next go to custom alright and we want the new volume next and there it goes now what it's doing is it is copying windows from the USB drive to the hard drive once this process is done we will have to go back into the BIOS and switch it from the USB to the hard drive so that way when you start your computer it will pull the operating system from the hard drive and then of course you want to remove the USB master key from the back of the computer Ooh, green is so pretty I like green pretty pretty Ooh, ooh. it's like a rave you know what I'm saying Beat box this shit looks sweet and voila Windows 10 boom done there it is alright so now what we need to do is shut the computer off or restart it whatever you want to call it alright so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pull your your CD or your master key out reach back over and turn the computer on and when you do start tapping the BIOS key delete F12 F1 whichever it is for ours it's F12 so we want to keep pressing F12 until it gets us in there come on there it goes okay so what we want to do now since I've unplugged it it should just naturally go to that drive which it's right there SATA drive S34100 whatever it's called alright load okay so now it's set I've set it it should load and that's it it's done just gotta put my Windows license key back up for another customer these little window master license keys man these things are expensive hundred and twelve dollars for that and there it is it's loading up and we're good now I can deliver the call the customer and tell them that it's done and so that is it guys that is how you install Windows 10 on an operating system I showed you how to erase a hard drive and how to load Windows 10 onto it it's not hard it took me maybe it takes longer for the operating system to do its updates and load than it does for me to actually do the keystrokes you know what I mean so thank you anyway. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, you guys be cool, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.